Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miche Gushaza. Today we are going to learn about the properties of acid and alkali from chapter 6, Form 2, KSSM Science. But before that, if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button for more videos and updates. Now let's get to our lesson. Do you know that the word acid actually comes from a Latin word, acidus? which means sour. Meanwhile, alkali comes from an Arabic word, alkali, which means the ashes of plants. Kataan acid berasal daripada kataan Latin, acidus, yang bermaksud masam. Manakala alkali berasal daripada kataan Arab, alkali, yang bermaksud abu tubuhan. There are lots of examples of acids and alkali around us. If you look in your house, there might be vinegar and lemon juice and those are acids. Meanwhile, soap and toothpaste are examples of alkali. The properties of acid and alkali. Acid has pH value less than 7, hence they taste sour and they are corrosive. They change the litmus paper from blue to red and they also react with metal to produce hydrogen gas. Meanwhile, alkali, they have pH 7, more than 7, and they taste bitter and they are corrosive as well, but they change the litmus paper from red to blue, and they don't react with metals. If you look at the diagrams below, these are examples of tests that can be carried out to test on the properties of acid and alkali. For the first one here, you put a pH paper into a dilute hydrochloric acid. Or you can use a litmus paper, either red or blue. You can use a blue litmus paper to test on acid, so it will change from blue to red. The second one is the corrosive test. For the corrosive test, this test has to be done in the fume chamber by using a protective goggles. You put a drop of concentrated hydrochloric acid on a piece of filter paper, which is placed on a white tile. After a while, you can see the filter paper erodes and a hole will be formed. The third one is to test on the reaction on metal. There you have a magnesium ribbon you put inside a dilute hydrochloric acid. After a while, you produce a gas. The gas collected is then tested with a lighted splinter. The lighted splinter then will produce a pop sound. Hence, the gas produced is hydrogen gas. Same as alkali, you can test them with pH paper or litmus paper. It's just that the litmus paper will change from red to blue. For the corrosive test, so you put a drop of concentrated sodium hydroxide solution on the filter paper. After a while, you can see the filter paper erodes and a hole is formed. Alkali does not react with metals. If you put a magnesium ribbon inside a sodium hydroxide solution and then you test with a lighted splinter, there will be no pop sound, meaning there is no hydrogen gas are being produced. Here's a tip to memorize the color changes on a litmus paper. The M here is Mera. Meanwhile, B here is Biru. If you put an arrow from left to right, M to B, from Mera to Blue, since the arrow is to the right, so you read the right two letters here. So these two AL will be alkali. If you put the arrow the other way around, from right to left, from blue to red, from Biru to Mera, since the arrow is to the left, so you read the two letters here. So it will be A, S. ID, aka acid. So that's all for today. I put the link for the quiz on the description below, and I'll see you again for the next subtopic.